Hi there, this is Arik from the Tidio support team. In this video, you will learn how to add new operators and set their permissions and how to create departments. You can add new operators by heading over to Settings, Teams, and then the Operators section, where you can click on the blue Add a new operator button. Enter your new operator's name and email address in the new pop-up window. A password will be generated automatically and it will appear in a new field. But you can also create your own password if you prefer. You can note down these new login credentials and give them to your new operator directly. However, if the new operator has access to the email inbox you've just registered, they will get an invitation to access Tidio. Currently, permissions and departments are premium options available only on accounts subscribed to the communicator plan. If you think that's something that can be useful for you, you might want to consider upgrading. As the project owner, if you're subscribed to the communicator plan, you can restrict your operator's access to certain sections of the account. You can assign predefined roles to each operator or set custom permissions. At the moment, you can choose between three predefined roles. Admin, allowing access to all options and sections. Moderator, allowing access to most of the options but with slight limitations. A moderator cannot manage operators, delete contacts, or delete conversations. And lastly, chat agent, the simplest of roles dedicated to the operators who only reply to incoming chats with no need for accessing Tidio settings. You also have the option to customize roles for each operator. To modify their permissions, click on the Edit Permission button next to the operator's details on the right-hand side. In the Custom Operator Permissions section, you will be able to change permissions for specific sections and areas of the Tidio panel. In the Operators section, you can also see the Add New Department button at the top. Click on it and you will be taken to the Departments section. In there, you can create different teams and assign your operators to them as you wish. A department can consist of many operators or just one, and each operator can be assigned to many different departments. Departments can be useful if you want to have specialized teams of operators, and it's possible to automatically route incoming chats to specific departments. But that's a topic for another video. We hope you found this video helpful, and we'll see you in the next one.